Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 50. Today we'll talk about how to convert a given fraction into its percentage form, either an exact percentage form or something very close to it. For example, for example, yesterday, the very last problem that we did yesterday, we were talking about adding and subtracting fraction. The last problem did, that we did yesterday is still on the blackboard. We had 6 fifth minus 4 25th. Six, rather 6 fifth, 6 fifteenth, not 6 fifth. 6 fifteenth minus 4 25th. And what we said is that if a fraction that is given to you is not in its most reduced form, before we, have, we start adding and subtracting the fractions that are given to us, it's always a good idea to, to, to make sure, to check that they are in fact the, in the reduced form and if they are not, reduce them first. For example, 6 over 15, 6 over 15, if you were to leave it like that, 6 over 15, if you were to leave it like that, we'll end up wasting a lot of time trying to figure out the least common denominator of 15 and 25. It's not necessary. Divide top and bottom by 3, 6 becomes 2 and 15 becomes 5. And now we end up with, now, now 6, 6 15 becomes 2 fifth. It becomes, it becomes 2 fifths. So now the problem is 2 fifth minus 4 25th. 2 fifth minus 4 25th. 4 25th. How do we convert this 5 into a 25 so that we have the same denominator? It's very simple. Multiply the first fraction by 5 over 5. 5 over 5 is 1. We're not changing its value because we're simply multiplying it by 1. So now we end up with 5 times 5 which is 25 and on the top we'll end up with 5 times 2 which is 10. 10 minus 4 is 10 minus 4 over 25. 10 minus 4 is 6 and we end up with 6 over 25. Now the question is if somebody were to come up to us, if somebody were to come up to us and ask us how much is 6 over 25, how much is 6 over 25 in percentage, ask us to give us the percentage form, percentage form of 6 over 25, Will we, will we be able to do that? That's the question. Will we be able to convert any fraction that is given to us in its percentage form or something very close to its percentage form if it can be very quickly approximated? Answer to that question lies into understanding what, percent, the, what the word percent means. I know it sounds like a very simple thing, very silly thing to say. The word percent that is, word percent, there is no I in there, the word percent means exactly what, it's, what it says. Percent literally means per 100. Percent means percent means per 100 or out of 100 or out of 100 or over 100. Over 100. Percent means the parts out of 100. For example, if someone says 37 percent, well 37 percent means 37 over 100. If someone says 58.5, 58.5 percent, 58.5 percent in fraction form is 58 over 58.5 over 100. If someone says uh, 12, 12 and 3 fifth percent, 12 and 3 fifth percent is the same as 12 and 3, 2, 3 fifth divided by 100 because it's 12 and 3 fifth percent. Percent means out of 100. So if you want to convert a given fraction, a given number, given value into its fraction, in its, to its, into its percentage form, then our job is to somehow get, the, get 100 in the bottom as quickly as possible. As long as you have 100 at the bottom, then whatever you see in the top is the percentage form. 12, three, 12 and 3 fifth divided by 100, since it's 100 at the bottom, this is 12 and 3 fifth percent. This is 58.5 percent. This is 37 percent. How can we convert this bottom into a 100? That's very simple. If we were to multiply the top and bottom by 4, we'll end up with 100 at the bottom because it's 25 times 4. And since, it's 20, since it is now 100 at the bottom, whatever we get on the top, 6 times 4, which is 24, 24 over 100, which tells us, which tells us that 6 25th is same as 24% is same as 24 percent. I'm going to change my marker. This one is dying. Just give me one second. I have to put it away. Let's do one more. Number two. Let's do one more. So remember percent simply means out of 100. 
Here's another one for you. How about 7 over 33? What is that in the percentage form approximately? Here we will not be able to give here we will not be able to give an exact value in this percentage form, but we can get very close to it. We can get damn close to it. Why? Because we see 33 at the bottom. If we were to multiply top and bottom by 3, what we'll find that what we find is that we end up with 21 over 99. Since 99 is very close to 100, that means therefore that means or therefore 7 over 33 is approximately 21 percent. Is approximately 21 percent. Let's do one more. So that was number two. And we learned yesterday that this symbol means therefore. This symbol means therefore. We learned it yesterday. Number three. How about what percentage is what percentage is eight out of eleven? The same thing. Make make it make the bottom as close to 100 as possible as quickly as possible. By multiplying top and bottom by 9, we realize that 11 times 9 is 99. So 8 times 9, 8 nines are 72. 8 nines are 72 over 99. Therefore, therefore, 8 over 11 is approximately 72 percent. It's approximately 72 percent. Just do one more. Number four. How about? Two seven. Now that is a tricky one. That is a tricky one. That's going to require some thinking. Our job again. Our job again is to get the bottom exactly equal to one hundred or something as close to one hundred as possible, as quickly as possible. Let's see what we can do here. We need the room, so I'm going to raise this part here. Now listen very carefully. Okay. We know the seven tens, or rather ten sevens. Let's not write that as seven tens. Let's write that as ten sevens. Ten sevens we know are seventy. We need to get close to one hundred. If we were to add two more sevens, if we were to add two more sevens, that will bring it up to eighty-four. That will bring us up to eighty-four. That's no good. That's too far away from one hundred. How about if we were to add? Could we add two more? Two more? Eight? Yeah, there you go. We could add actually two more. Oh, what do you know? Oh, there you go. So, ten sevens, ten sevens are seventy. Two more sevens are fourteen. And another two more sevens is fourteen again. And seventy plus fourteen plus fourteen is ninety-eight. And that's about as close to one hundred as we're going to get. And that gives us fourteen. That gives us fourteen sevens. Ten sevens, two sevens, and two sevens. Fourteen sevens. Let's multiply top and bottom by fourteen. And now we know the bottom is 7 times 14 is 98 and 2 times 14 is 28 and since 98 is very close to 100 therefore therefore we can claim that 2 over 7 is approximately 98 percent approximately 98 percent now do you know why 7 times 14 is 98 instead of doing all this work could you have figured it out 7 times 14 has to be 98 do you know why because 7 times 14 7 times 14 can be written as 7 times 7 times 2. And of course we know 7 squared is 49. And 49 times 2, well I don't know what the hell 49 times 2 is. I know 50 times 2 is 100. Well if 50 times 2 is 100, then 49 times 2, stands to reason, should be 2 less than that, 98. 50 times 2 is 100, therefore 49 times 2 is going to be 98. Let's do one more, shall we? So that was 2 7, that was number 4. Let's do number five. Number five. How about five eight? Five eight. Now five eight, five eight should not be an issue at all. Five eight, you should not have any trouble at all converting it into a fraction, converting it into a percentage like that, because we learned our eighths and the quarters in one video. We learned our tenths and the fifths. You must know all your tenths and fifths by heart. You must know all your quarters and all your eighths by heart. And I don't have the name or number of the video here as to which video we learn it in. But if you look under the series, we are on day number 50. In one video, in one video has a heading of tenths and the fifths. And another video has a heading of quarters and the eighths. 
And what we learn in that video is that what we learn in that video is that five eight five eight can be written as four eight plus an eight. And what is four eight? Four eight is just a half, which is a fifty percent. What about the eight? An eight an eight is is means equal. An eight is simply half of of means times eight. An eighth is half of a quarter. Eight is nothing more than a half of a quarter. And quarter we know is 25%. So what is half of 25%? What is half of 25? Well we know half of 24. We know half of 24 is 12. Therefore half of 25 should be 12 and a half. It should be 12 and a half. An eighth an eight is half of a fourth, which is twelve and a half. So we have fifty percent plus twelve and a half percent. Fifty plus ten is sixty. Sixty-two and a half percent. Five eight is sixty-two and a half percent. Sixty-two and a half percent. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Number six. See if you can do it on your own. Here's your, I'm going to give you the fractions. 3 over 40. 3 over 40. Do it yourself. What can we multiply? What, big, what can we multiply the bottom by to make it into a 100 or something very close to 100? That's what we always ask ourselves. Well, what we have to understand is that 40 times 2.5 40 times 2 and a half, because 40 times 2, 40 times 2 is 80, plus half of 40. If you have 40 halves, 40 twos, if you have 40 twos, that's 80, and if you have 40 halves, we know two halves make a one. If you have 40 halves, that's 20. Well, in other words, half, half of 40 is 20. In other words, if you were to multiply 40 by 2 and a half, will end up with exactly 100. Let's multiply top and bottom by 2 and a half. If we multiply top and bottom by 2 and a half, what we find is that in the bottom, we end up with exactly 100. The question is, how much is 3 times 2 and a half? Well, let's find out, shall we? 3 times 2 and a half. You always keep asking me, how the hell do I know? Let's find out. 3 times 2 is 6. And three halves, three halves are so called because that's exactly what it is. Three times half is three halves. Three halves is like this, which is same as, which is same as two halves and one half. Two halves, two halves is one. So six plus one plus half is seven and a half. In other words, in other words, what we just found out is, what we just found out is. Let's put it here. What we just found out is that 3 over 40 is exactly 7.5%. It's exactly 7.5%. Not approximate, exactly because the bottom is exactly 100. Let's do one more, shall we? Number 7. Number 7. Number 7. How about, this is an easy one, 8 over 9. 8 over 9 is easy one because what number can we multiply 9 by to make it 100 or something pretty damn close to 100? Well, the answer is 11. The answer is 11. Because 11 nines are 99. There you go. So we'll multiply the top by 100 as well. 8 times 9 is 88. In other words, in other words, 8 9 is approximately, not exactly, because it's on the bottom we do not have 100, we have 99. Therefore, 8 9 is approximately 88%. Because this is 88. 88 over 99. Oh, it's right here. I don't have to squeeze it there. It's right here. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.